let's look at how we can make a histogram with Excel. In this example, we have the data from 100 employees indicating things like how many hours they work, their education, their, their income, and their age. Let's suppose we want to create a histogram showing the workers' ages. Now, in order to do this, we need to create a frequency table before we can create a histogram. So if you haven't created a frequency table, if you, or if you don't know how to create a frequency table, you can look at one of my videos on how to create a frequency table. But here we have the frequency table with age um, for uh, um, these 100 employees. Now what we want to do is we uh, uh, want to um, enter into our cell there, and it says pivot table fields. We're not going to uh, change any of the pivot table fields. The pivot table was how we made this. Now, something we might want to do is that when I made the frequency table, all the bins were 10 wide, but I said, oh, that looks funny if we say that how many workers from 10 to 19 do we have? And so we changed it to 18 to 19 since we didn't have anybody under 18. But for a frequency, for a histogram, let's change it back to 10 to 19. That'll make all of our bins the same width, and that'll just be a lot nicer. So I changed that there so that all the bins have an equal width. And I put the uh, uh, selected cell inside the table. And so I'm going to go to Insert. And then in the chart section, I'm going to choose a bar chart. And I'm going to choose the first 2D column chart. And we have a uh, bar chart here. Now, this bar chart is different than a histogram. You might remember, oh, what, what's, a, what's a bar chart? A bar chart has gaps, whereas a histogram doesn't have gaps. A histogram shows the smooth distribution. So what we want to do to change this bar chart to a histogram is let's double click on these bars and it'll give us some options and we want to change the gap width. It's 219%, we want to change it to zero. And that will make a histogram. Now, to make this histogram a little bit more clear, let's put some lines, let's put some uh, border lines on the, uh, each one of these bars in the histograms. I want a solid line and I want to make it black and black and let's make it a little bit wider and that looks pretty good. Did I, did I, I did a compound type. I want to make a solid line that makes Dash type, what's, well, that's okay. We can do that. And so we click and, oh yes, it went to solid there. All right, and so let's get rid of our format shape. Now we've got our frequent, our, our histogram here now. Now it's got a bad title, so we need to change the title to something that's actually clear. So we're gonna have hi, histogram of workers ages that looks good now because it's made from a pivot table they've already put some axis titles there for age here and frequency here that's good uh, one thing that we can do is we've got this this little sign that says total there let's uh that's called the the legend let's uh let's just delete that legend actually and we can do it delete and there it's gone and that's a lot clearer because it didn't add anything to us and so there we've got a good histogram of let me make it that fits in here a little bit better uh, that's a little flat we make it a little taller and we've got a, a nice histogram of the workers ages